when you say it's, what does secure mean to you? It certainly doesn't mean that people aren't able to get across the border illegally. Of, of course not. That is, that, by, by that measure, the border has never been secure, right? Um, since the Department of Homeland Security was created, individuals have evaded. So, so by what measure is it secure now, sir? So there, there is not a common definition. That's Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas defending his proclamations that the southern border is secure. By what definition, we don't know. All we need to do is look at the record of number of people coming across. In the past year, the Biden administration set a new record with more than 2.7 million illegal immigrants crossing into the United States. That's more than a million over the previous record. These are what the Border Patrol calls encounters. People like the video we show you that turn themselves into Border Patrol for processing. History tells us about half end up getting released into the United States. Lieutenant Chris Oliveras of the Texas Department of Public Safety released new pictures of the gotaways. Last year, that number was 1.2 million, roughly the population of Dallas, Texas, that came across illegally and escaped capture or encounter. Our reporting on the border shows the gotaways are usually the highest value people to the cartels and they invest a lot of money in getting their most precious cargo into the heart of America safely. Cartel members, drug mules, and women, namely ones they can sell into prostitution. Recent raid in Polk County, Florida, 1,300 miles from the U.S. border, found nearly two dozen women brought across the border illegally, just in Polk County, that's near Lakeland, Florida. I spoke to Sheriff Grady Judd about how they made this big human trafficking bust. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd is with us now. Sheriff, 200 people just in Polk County. Was that their end destination or has Polk County become a, a hub, if you will, to, to send people out to other places? Well, what we've become is a hub of putting people in jail. We did an undercover operation with our colleagues from the different police departments. And our goal was to go online and look for victims of human trafficking. So while some say, well, what's going on in Polk County? It's not that we have a problem in Polk County, it's that we have a problem across the country and our undercover detectives who are simply the very best are able to lure them into this operation. We found 14 ladies that were here in this country illegally. The majority of them came from Cuba through Guatemala. Six of the 14 we've confirmed are victims of human trafficking. That's right. These human traffickers found them along the way and forced them into indentured positions to have to pay for their transportation. But when do they get out from under it? And how much? And what do they have to do? The next thing you know, they're being forced into having sex. So we saved at least 24 victims totally, six of them being illegal from Cuba that professed that they were victims of human trafficking. It was a great operation, mm. 213 arrests, 24 saves. And what we saw, the criminals are bringing these ladies here through the borders, through the poorest borders, in order to use them as their sex slaves. We've said all along for many years, and you've said the same thing, that the idea that it is a victimless crime of crossing the border, uh, America's southern border, just isn't true because of what, what people go through that you, that you save. 200 plus arrests to traffic 24 people, or were they involved uh, in other crimes and other uh, parts of the underworld uh, as well? Here's what we know. When we do these prostitution stings, this is our way to find the victims of human trafficking. We really know there was many more than 24 that are the victims of human trafficking. Only 24 would admit it. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.